As we've said, power restoration efforts are continuing as we speak. We're joined now live by a spokesperson for Consumers Energy, Brian Wheeler. Brian, thanks so much for speaking with us live this morning. Let's jump right in. What update can you share for us this morning on those restoration efforts? We mentioned around eight this morning, maybe for some people. Are we still on track for that? Yeah, you know, we have contractors and consumers energy crews um, all converging on West Michigan after this unusual storm. Um, we do see customers will be seeing, will be without power this morning, of course. Our work is going to continue to get power on throughout the day with the goal of restoring almost everybody by the end of the day today. Gotcha. So by the end of the day today is what really most people should be focusing on. What's the biggest challenge? I know we weren't necessarily expecting this so soon with such a big impact. What's the biggest challenge uh, with restoring power and particularly in the Muskegon area? Yeah, this was really an unusual storm, of course, in terms of the timing. Um, as that heavy snow fell, it took on leaves and branches and trees and so we saw uh, we've seen hundreds of wires that are down right now um, we're prepared and trained and, and we'll be busy today getting power back on but there are a lot of power lines down throughout the region so certainly being careful being mindful of your surroundings and staying a safe distance away is a first consideration for the general public while our crews get to work and get the power back on and as you mentioned, this is just unusual, more so I think just because of the timing. We've certainly seen storms like this before, but it's only November 1st. We'll likely see many more storms this season. So what should customers be keeping in mind, especially when it comes to this sort of impact and, and losing power for some time? Yeah, well, certainly um, we don't expect winter to arrive quite this early. But um, as we as we look forward to months ahead here, having a good plan for your house, winterizing your home, being ready for winter to stay warm is always the first consideration. But really having that emergency plan as well, knowing what you're going to do if you do lose power. Uh, we're confident that we're making the upgrades to make the system stronger, but storms like this can be certainly unusual and powerful, and we do see power outages like this. Well, certainly uh, thinking of those people that are without power in these cold temperatures, hoping that we get those lights back on soon. Brian, thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely. Thank you. And it's easy to stay weather aware with the 13 on your side weather app. There you can find the latest forecast, live radar, and much more. That's free to download for Android and Apple devices.